string formatting uses the printf statement and I strongly encourage you to follow along with what's in the book. What I'm going to do instead, uh, percent %s is a string and all these percent and then numbers and then a letter, percent other numbers letter, the d means number, now the s means string and what we also can look at is we can, where did that go? There it is. I said a quick Google search for uh, system out print F and then space Java. And these are the first five results I found. Uh, here's the official one is Oracle, but sometimes it gets a little bit wordy. Uh, this one's a little easier on the eyes too. This tells you some format specifiers, escape characters, uh, here's their full syntax and then a bunch of examples and you can use any really any of these right here quick reference might be better um, I'm not going to worry too much right now I just want to redo our last uh, example using the printf instead okay you can still concatenate to printf but you do not need to so I want name one to appear first well first of all Let's say that I wanted to put a single quote before name one and then a single quote after name one. I can totally do this. Uh, and then I want to put a single quote. Now, printf doesn't have an automatic new line, so I'm going to add one in. And a single quote. All right. Now, when I run this, you're going to see it's, it was single quoted each of those. Uh, but that's pretty annoying, in my opinion, to type all this plus, 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 plus with extra double quotes. Okay, so what I'm going to do is delete all the pluses and the double quotes. I'm going to leave those spaces in. Okay, and then name one, comma, name two, because I want name one first, name two second. Okay, you need to put the placeholder in. So for us, it's going to be percent %s. You can see that right here. The only string is AMPM. And that's the third one right there. So that's percent %s is the placeholder for this. Name two, percent %s. Now, if you're worried, you can put single quotes inside double quotes. Uh, you can't go the other way around, but you can do singles inside doubles. And we'll run it again. Look at that. We got the exact same output. And if you're thinking something is a little weird, um, I'll just do a couple of at signs, and you'll see it's actually printing out uh, what you think it's printing out. All right, so why is this useful? Well, I can grab this. Let's uh, duplicate, control, shift down, alt, shift down to move it. I'm gonna delete the other line. And now we got name two, name one, like this. All right, so we got uh, the same thing, but the order's reversed. So let's go ahead and actually make it uh, run the other way, so I just put a smaller string in uh, part two there. Uh, you can even make this third line uh, quite a bit shorter. We'll put them in the original order. Uh, oh, I better make them the same if we want it to say they're the same. Okay, so that's uh, string format, uh, or sorry, print F. All right, so what does string format do? It's very similar to print F, except what it does is instead of printing it on the screen, it creates a string with that format. So what we can do is let's declare string string s s equals string format okay so we'll just print s at the end and it will do exactly the same thing now, if I declared the string each time, 
well, we have one big problem, which is you can't declare it twice, so I'll just undeclare it. But now we have a problem that it can't access it out here because this string only exists inside the block of code that starts here and ends here. So that's why you have to declare it up above. Uh, so I'll undo that a couple times. There we go. Uh, you can also write a method that returns a string. So let's do that. Now I am going to clear out all this junk. All right, remember you declare methods outside. This one's going to be public static string because it's going to return a string. Um, I'm just going to call it format. I'm not feeling very clever at the moment. Uh, format's going to take uh, our two strings that we declared. String name one, string name two. I'm gonna put all that code in there. Oh, better get if in there also. All right, and then we're gonna return S right there. Now, instead of printing s, we're going to format name one comma name two, and it's going to call this method and then print the result. And we called the method inside of a print statement, and so it'll print it out. Now, a lot of times you're going to want to do Do this separately in two lines. Right there. All right. So we all have our vocabulary here, and then we'll look at the exercises soon.